in this video I am going to answer questions alive. So questions that you all left as comments in previous videos. Uh, we selected a handful of those comments so that I can talk to you guys uh, on video. So number one, uh, three people, three ladies asking the same question. It is Sharon Christian, Faith Houston and Shaina Krishnan. And the question is a uh, thank you. Uh, that's a comment and a video on firming loose uh, facial skin. So the first thing I'll say is have yourselves a daily skincare routine because an ideal daily skincare routine made with natural ingredients is going to firm up your skin by nourishing it, by providing it antioxidants, fatty acids and a lot of different uh, components that your skin loves so that your elastin and collagen can be in a state where it's building rather than degrading. So a daily skincare routine means cleanser, toner, serum and lotion. It's a four step uh, routine and doesn't take very long, just about three minutes each time. And uh, a weekly skincare routine then means you're going to uh, put a face mask on one to two times a week and also you are going to scrub your skin using a facial scrub. I do have a remedy for all three of you and here we go. Let's get a teaspoonful of any clay of your choice. It could be Multani Mitti, which in English is called Fuller's Earth. It could be bentonite, it could be kaolin, red clay, whatever clay you have um, is going to be great to firm up your skin. So one teaspoonful of any clay and rose water uh, to make a thick paste and to this you can add about four drops of extra virgin olive oil. Apply this mask on your skin one to two times a week, allow it to dry, it takes about 10 minutes and then wash with lukewarm water and never forget follow with your daily skincare routine. So this one is going to firm up your skin. Remember clay, any clay, when it dries on your skin, first of all, provides a lot of trace elements to your skin that it loves, but it also tightens it up. So that's why any clay is great for loose facial skin. But while it's tightening it up, it also is going to deep clean your skin. And at the same time, it's going to increase blood circulation to your skin. So that much nourishment, that much nutrition, this remedy is going to be great. Okay, moving on to comment number two, uh, two ladies asking the same question. It is Rihanna Baninger and Sunita Jamar Kothari. And this question is about AIDS spots. Uh, Rihanna asks, what about a mask for AIDS spots? And Sunita uh, says, I have freckles on my face and pigmentation as well. So please suggest some remedies to solve my problem. So dark spots as well as age spots and uh, pigmentation, they're all forms of hyperpigmentation of skin. So let's do this remedy really quickly. We get one teaspoonful of oat flour to which we are going to add about eight drops of lemon juice, six drops of apple cider vinegar and enough rose water to form a thick paste. This goes on the skin one to two times a week as usual. 10 minutes to dry and then use your serum and your lotion. Actually your complete skincare routine right after. That comment, that suggestion from me never changes. No matter the concern, whether there is any concern, no matter the skin type, I would want everybody to have a daily skincare and a weekly skincare routine. Of course made with ingredients that are natural and no harsh chemicals. Okay, so the next question slash comment is from Shifali Gholi. And she says, please do a video on how to get rid of tiny pimples or bumps on forehead. And I think this is a fantastic idea. We are definitely going to add it to our list of upcoming videos. So watch out for a video on this issue. Of course, it will be uh, posted on our Facebook page right here, but we will also post it on our YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I say please subscribe to our YouTube channel and go to ObserveSkincare.com. There you will find a video gallery page where all new videos go also. Comment number last is from our YouTube subscriber and her name is Nirikshna Biki um, and she says, Sheetal, I read your book and you said you turned vegan and organic. Can you please tell me why you did so and please do a video on that. So I can do, uh, I'm already doing a video on it right now, but um, my uh, primary reason to turn vegan is because I love animals very much. I respect them, I adore them, 
I have a lot of compassion for them. And uh, at a point, uh, it did not make any sense at all to consume anim animal derived uh, products or ingredients that we have no explicit permission from the animals to do so. We are humans, we are uh, stronger, uh, more willful than animals, so we just go on right ahead and exercise that power and strength on something that is helpless, doesn't have a say, and uh, that is extremely sad. It's very, very, very heartbreaking to me. Also, as a collective, uh, we human beings at this time are exhibiting a lot of cruelty and a lot of violence in the world. There are animal farms where animals are kept in deplorable conditions, are fed questionable food, antibiotics, hormones, and um, aren't cared for properly. And uh, they go through a lot of emotional and physical pain and abuse, and uh, all so that we can consume them at the end. It is heartbreaking. And that was my chief reason for turning vegan. And uh, so skincare.com also is a vegan company. And I'm hoping that most of you, all of you will join in this movement to turn this planet into a kind, compassionate place. And we all have hearts. And um, I'm sure we all have kind hearts and we care deep in our hearts. Um, so it's just, it's just a matter of thinking about what really is happening and making that change. So that was my reason of turning vegan. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to doing more videos in the future. As I said in the beginning, if you have comments, if there is anything I can answer for you, make sure to include uh, those in uh, comments below. And up until the next time, take care.